right. Good morning, Accelerate Tribe. I'd like to ask Miss Stephanie to open open us in prayer this morning. I would be totally delighted. Mm -hmm. Father God, we're just so grateful this morning for your breath of life, God. With it, we honor you and we bless one another. Thank you for this wonderful day that you've made for us to enjoy. It is altogether lovely. Thank you for gathering us together to fellowship and enjoy your presence with each other. Father, what you've done is something that is just so unique and so wonderful. By your spirit, you've taken the things that make us different according to the flesh and you've overwhelmed them by the new life that we live in Christ, that we share in the body, that we're fitly joined in God. And the life that we live in you empowers us now to know each other by the spirit. And therefore, we no longer regard anyone according to the flesh. Father, we thank you that where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom, there's liberty. Holy Spirit, have your way. Bless us now as we comfort and encourage one another in the faith. Let your love and your peace abide. And as Pam comes to share what you've given to her, let her thoughts and her words be clear as she communicates whatever it is that is in her heart. And we thank you now and give you the glory as only your purpose prevails. It's in the, Jesus, it's in the, the matchless name of Jesus Christ that we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Steph. Well, as, as Jacinta said, this is my first message here. And as I was praying over what to share with all of you, God put it on my heart that I know more about you than you know about me. You all seem to know one another. And as one of the newer family members here, he asked me to share with you my journey and my faith walk. Amen. Now, hopefully this doesn't come across about it's all about Pam, mm -hmm. but rather that I share my experience that I may connect or relate with you. Um, as I'm 60 years old, this is going to be a highlight reel, not a detailed <laughs> version of what's gone on in my life. More like a movie trailer, short and concise. I'm not one that expounds on a whole lot of words. But if you haven't realized yet, I'm a diligent note taker and retainer of information. So I not only want to share with you my story, but the scriptures that I leaned on during various parts of that journey, Amen. the song that I chose and got emotional about today when I, when it was played um, was pivotal in a portion of my journey. Um, so that therefore the song that I chose, but I was raised in a two parent, I call it a traditional because back then it was traditional. You had both parents in the home. Mom was always the one that held down the home front. Dad spent his entire career working at IBM as a programmer. He called it, it International Business Machines is what the company's name is, but he called it I've Been Moved because it took him from Minot, North Dakota to Iowa, where I was born, to Poughkeepsie, New York, and then to San Jose, California. Mm -hmm. So he'd been moved. But I was blessed I am blessed to have had both of my parents until August of last year when dad went home. Um, even more blessed that they were married to one another for almost 63 years. I'm the eldest of their three girls. As a child, I don't remember going to church regularly, though my mother tells me we did. Um, there was one at the end of the street. My mom didn't drive, so we walked to church. And I remember the one time that I recall we went to church, Mom and dad had had what we what I now refer to as heated fellowship. Um, they'd had a disagreement and we took off to church. Um, as an adult, I've learned the things you remember as children, you either have a strong you have an emotional connection to whether it be strong, uh, positive or negative. It's a strong emotional connection. Probably why I don't remember the rest of the time going to church. But my parents have raised us with strong morals, honesty, integrity. Treat people as you'd like to be treated and a strong work ethic. We moved cross country from New York to California when I was nine years old. And until 20, 2020, when my husband and I moved to Virginia, I spent my entire life in California. But we didn't attend church regularly as a family. Um, personally, I didn't attend church or have a relationship with God or Jesus until 2004. Obviously, a lot happened before that. Um, at 18 years old, I married a man I knew for six weeks before we got married. 
Wow. My parents told me, no, you couldn't. And I was 18. And I said, oh, yes, I can. I'm an adult. I can do what I want to. Wow. <clears throat> Needless to say, that was my teenage rebellion. <laughs> he was everything I was raised not to be. He was an ex-con. He was a drifter. And in 1981, he was fully tattooed. That was not acceptable in that time frame. We were married for six and a half long years till I finally realized till death to us part didn't mean it was by his hand that I was going to be allowed. My eldest daughter is a product of that marriage. In 1989, I remarried. i have gone to college. It was um, had met a... An outspoken college classmate that I thought he was everything I wasn't. He's outspoken. I'm more introverted. Um, and therefore, he'd complete me. How worldly is that thinking? Mm. Oh, but little did I know. Mm. We were married for 13 tumultuous years. Again, I was taught you start something, you finish it. Mm -hmm. There was physical and emotional abuse for most of those years. And I stayed with them for the kids' sake. My youngest daughter was born in that marriage. Wrong thinking for sure. I thought I was keeping my home life at home. But after coming out of that relationship in 2002, I realized everybody else knew what I was dealing with. The only person I was fooling was me. Mm. The next few years, now I'm single. I'm 40 years old. I'm living life for me. I did what I wanted, when I wanted, how I wanted. Very much sin-filled. God brought this business in my life in November of 2002. The day I interviewed with my recruiter was the day my divorce was final. Wow. Talk about God's Kairos timing. Okay. On a weekend sales seminar with Tom Hopkins, I'm not sure any of you's other business experience, but we were raised in an office where Everything was going to be cost effective. So you piled as many people in a hotel room as you possibly can because we're all saving money. <laughs> and our room was supposed to be myself, a teammate, and a couple that was on her team. Well, my teammate bailed. So I ended up sharing a room with her teammates who turned out to be a pastor and his wife. <laughs> Saturday evening, the 13th of September, 2003, because we all, re all remember our salvation date, right? After some discussion of the void that was in my life, I prayed my sinner's prayer. I asked when I, he asked me that when I go back home, find me a Bible-based church to attend. Now, my first, my first scripture here that he, he gave me that day was Matthew 18, 20 in the NIV. For where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am with them. Now, I'd love to say my life turned around overnight, <laughs> but we all know it's a journey, right? Uh, Psalm 25, 4 through 7 in the NIV. And I'll slow down a bit here because I'm going to be done in real short time. <laughs> um, that's Psalm 25, 4 through 7. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from old, from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Now, I was praying at that point, I'm single. I'm divorced twice. And if God wants another man in my life, he better be a godly man. Because I swore I was never, ever getting married again. Now, it's often said when we make plans, God laughs. Definitely was true. I met Edgar, my husband, on Yahoo Personals in 2004. Way before people were meeting people online. Wow. E-harmony was just a thought process. It hadn't even been. So my first test for him was, where are we going to meet? In church. And he did. He was in the midst of a separation and a divorce and had had similar, survived similar, I guess, I call it warlike home life. Um, we dated. He, he got full custody of his four children. 
and we were married in July of 2005. Now he has, obviously, this is my only godly relationship with, with a man. He has taught me so much about what marriage with God in the middle can be like. First Thessalonians 5, 11 in the Amplified is therefore encourage and comfort one another and build one another up just as you are doing. He is my partner in life and in business and he lets me be me and helps me grow into the woman that God designed me to be. I have learned the biblical meaning of the man being the head of the family and the biblical meaning of two words that were used in my past differently, and that would be submit and obey. Together with God, we've raised a blended family, five girls and a boy. When we married, they were 21, 15, 12, 11, 10, and 9. The boy's the baby. They are now 38 through 27, and they've blessed us with nine grandchildren and a great-grandson. With God's grace and mercy, we have battled through congestive heart failure diagnosis a decade ago now Amen. and the resulting chronic illness. That song that I had played, that was my song that I used through that whole battle. Mm -hmm. My song, uh, that, that got me through that season. Also, my daughter's criminal trial and re resulting incarceration. My eldest daughter is currently incarcerated. So mm -hmm. the, the scripture that has got me through that portion of the journey was Proverbs 3, 5 through 7, again in the NIV. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Currently, we're working through a couple of different scriptures, and that being Philippians 3, 14 in the Amplified. I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. In business, the, the scripture I lean to is Hebrews 2, 1, again in the NIV. Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Now, when I started my, my journey, my faith journey, Jeremiah 29, 11 was the scripture I went to. Well, I've now expanded it from 11 to 13, again in my NIV. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and to not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Then in November of last year, with Stephanie's invitation and God's direction, I found the the puzzle that my piece fits into in this tribe, my new family, in this Accelerate group. Thank you all for your genuine welcome. This has felt like home since day one. These calls and these messages have been transformative. I've always had on my goal sheet to study the Bible in depth. I always thought that was a future thing that you do when you have money and time. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it had to be, you know, a theology or classes or a seminary, something that was going to happen in the future. Thank you, Jacinta, for obeying God's direction and starting Accelerate. Amen. With that, I can now study the Bible on a daily basis through this group. Amen. <laughs> Thank you all for your time and attention. That's what I have to share with you today. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, Don, I'm going to let you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Pam. Miss Pam. Now, you know you're doing something because there's tears in my eyes. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm telling Oh, my God. I, I, I especially locked in when you talked about Jeremiah 29 and 11. And then you said, 
but I've expanded it. I, I love that because that's exactly what I see has happened to me being in this tribe, being on this call, hearing your voice, and you know, with Jacinta and the insights God has given her, and she's sharing it with us. I mean, there, I mean, both Annelle and myself, we, so sometimes when we get off the call, we go, wow. We, we've read that before and my goodness, we didn't see that. And it's the same, it's the same way. And I, I just so appreciate you and you, you let, letting us in on, on your journey, glory to God. No doubt in my mind, God, God's hand and his favor is upon you and your family. And to God be the glory, that young lady that's incarcerated right now, guess what? Restoration is going to come to her too. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. I can see the Lord says, I'm I'm a not only I'm gonna bless you, I'm gonna bless your seed too. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Y'all mm -hmm. better hear what I got to say. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That and, and God's gonna do it. That's you know, you um this put that this put that as one of your expectations. Glory to God, mm -hmm. that you're gonna see it. Hallelujah. And we're gonna rejoice with you. Hallelujah. Because this is your family here. Hallelujah. And so, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm <laughs> That's all I got to say, at least for right now. Amen. I know. I know. I, I just let let me say this because I know I'm not gonna be through either, but I'm just gonna say this right now. <laughs> Is thank you so much for sharing, you know, your for being so transparent and and sharing your journey. Um and you're right, man. We we this family we're so much better because of each other, because of the things that you have gone through that made you stronger, that gave you wisdom, you know, that you can bring that to this, to this group. And it's very, it's very much a treasure, you know, it's very much a treasure for us. And I, I just so appreciate you being willing to, to share that. And we don't, um, we don't know you know, when people come here, what's behind them, but praise the Lord for him get putting something before us, you know, for him making all the puzzle pieces make sense and bringing us all here to now serve as a launching pad for what comes next. And you just, you perfectly displayed that. And what this should be is being able to pull from wherever we are and push us forward and pull us forward spiritually and make those things that didn't make sense before make sense. And, you know, so you, you're, I, you're such a blessing to have shared that. I'm so thankful for you, honey. So thankful for you again. I know I'm not done, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. I see so many hands going up. Michelle, I saw yours first, ma'am. Go ahead. <laughs> Actually, uh Andre's went up first, but it since you oh, called did? my name out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn. Oh, I'm just like the sense said, thank you so much for yeah, I thought I was transparent. I mean, I think you got me beat. <laughs> but thank you so much for just sharing your life and your journey um man there were so many things that that would have broken most people and oh my god he just had you I mean I'm tearing up y'all y'all I don't usually tear up <laughs> because this it ministered to me in such a way when I when I just look at all you went through and then how you still came out on top and you didn't let and for me the biggest part of that is your journey in marriage and how you didn't even let that stop you from moving forward and my gosh you went through so much and it, get, it gives me hope it gives me hope to be married again Amen. my journeys look nothing like yours but but it's but it, but there's so many times that it seems like you know I can't trust anybody I can't do this and, and I'm, I'm carrying this I've been carrying this baggage with me that's been keeping me from moving forward but my sister, if you can let that leave that in the past, <laughs> I can definitely leave my little rocks in the past, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and be open to receiving that husband. So thank you so much, Pam. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Amen. Mr. Dre, go ahead, sir. Well, I'm going to, I would love to allow Miss Crystal to go first. You know, ladies okay. first. Ladies okay. first. All right. Gotcha. Go ahead, Miss Crystal. <laughs> okay. Um. 
basically, uh, Michelle and Jacinta kind of have, have said what I wanted to say, but I just wanted to um, thank you, Pam, for being um, so open. You know, I could just feel your heart um, and your presence. I can still feel it on me. Um, I'm a pretty private person, and I guess all of us are. Um, and I have shared some really personal things, you know, with the tribe. And that's not easy to do. But, um, you know, I just want to thank you. Um, and also to say, like, you know, like just to say, we never know what a person's story is. You can't look at a person and, and really tell, you know, and you can make some assumptions when you look at people and say, oh, well, that person's really strong or, you know, that person, you know, wouldn't be subject to a certain thing. But, um, you know, with life and the journey um, comes wisdom, um, it comes more understanding. Um, but your journey is really, you know, if you, if you think about it, some of the experiences, you know, you could assign as being negative, but um, it certainly has uh, created the person that you are today. And I, you know, I just want to thank you, you know, for sharing and letting us see, see Pam today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, Dre, you know, there's more women on here than men. <laughs> okay. So there is Lakita, yeah, so I, just raise her I'm gonna hand. Jump in. Well, okay. I'm going to go ahead and jump. Cause I know Lakita, <laughs> I know Lakita finishing up her notes. I'm going to jump in while she's finishing her notes. Um, Miss Pam, man. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I, I am truly amazed that you are 60 years young. I would have never, ever guessed that. <laughs> you know, they say the joy of the Lord is your strength. It's also the fountain of youth. Mm -hmm. You know, I think when, when we, when we allow God to, to come in, uh, or as, as my wife says, to come on in, as we allow the Lord to come on into our lives, uh, he has an amazing way of, of shining through us, shining through us in such a way that you know, people, you know, I, I hear it a lot. A lot of people are like, man, I can't believe you're X, Y, Z age. Man, I can't believe it. But, you know, it's like Crystal was saying, everybody has a story. And I'm, I'm just so grateful that this is a safe place. And I'm a part of this safe place because we get to learn everybody's story. It might not be the whole story, but through everyone's presenting, we get to learn just a little bit more about the people that we're, that we're you know, co-laboring with, right? And as as like I said, we allow the Lord to, to work through us. You begin to see that light shine so much that it, it begins to become hard to believe certain things when people say certain. So when you said 60, I said, no, nah, she must, she must have misquoted that. She can't be sick. There's, there's no possible way. But that's just, that's just the Lord. That's, that's God on the inside of us. And, and, you know, to be able to share what you share today, I, I, I pray, I hope that, um, you know, that was a weight lifted off. I know how sometimes these first presentations can be so, oh my God, I, <laughs> oh man, I don't know if I can do it, but to be able to get, to be able to get past it and, and, and allow God to shine through, I hope it's a weight lifted off. And, um, you know, I'm honored to be your brother in Christ and I'm honored to be on this call with all of y'all and this is awesome. This this is awesome. Yes. And and the plans that God has for you, we we've just scratched the surface. So mm -hmm. you just keep on pressing on in the Lord. Love y'all. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you. And yes, I am 60 years young. I like that. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, Miss Lakita. Sorry, I'm operating from the phone, so mm -hmm. I gotta make sure I Miss Pam, oh, my spirit over here leaping. I know when I talk about leaping, it feels mm -hmm. so good to speak on this call. But Miss Pam, thank you so much. I remember like my first time I felt like I was um, giving some personal information, <laughs> you know, and, and I did. I said, this is such a safe space. But even when you said, you know, you're the newest member in here. The spirit's here because you understood and you felt so compelled that it was so safe that you could 
put out what you did. And that is God. God is so amazing. And thank you for your scriptures that you shared because I was sharing with um, most of the tribe, people who have checked in on me and, and others that didn't. I know y'all were praying for me, but it's amazing to understand how being equipped and you don't even know it sometimes until you actually start worrying through certain things in your life and how close God is to us at all times. And so I love your word, but as listening to you speak, it made me think about the evening call last night, just watching your movement in every part. And I'm going back to my notes because it was those five movements, those five stages. And you just took us through stages of just how you illuminated, meditated, um, had your picture there with the revelation, you legislated, and then the manifestation. And he's not even done. And that's the beauty of um, God's word because we were speaking about it last night and Jacinta, you say it all the time, like even in planting in the garden, you know, there's things that we just don't see right now and things are happening right now. And we don't even know what God is, has coming out of this beautiful picture, but I love you, queen. I'm telling you, there is no way I would have ever put that story on you, you know? And it's so amazing how God really has us triumph and, I don't know how we can ever give up, right? And um, you definitely put um, a scripture in there. And I believe it was through the Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. But praise God, I'm just so grateful that Jacinta let people in. Because I, <laughs> I, I was on the cusp. <laughs> I was on that cusp too. I didn't get to talk yesterday. My, my, my stuff was going in and out. I was right there on the cusp. But praise God. That, um, you know, Mr. Don and Michelle were nice enough, you know, <laughs> to not be so selfish to let her let go a little bit. But um, I just praise God. I love our tribe, our family, our family. And God is really doing a new thing here and just sent to a queen. When we was talking about that new thing, I go back in that word and I read it. But this has been so Kairos. Mm -hmm. so accelerate it and just more people coming and I just praise God I'll keep on going because I ain't talked in a while so I'm gonna go on and put my <laughs> hand down but I love you all tribe and thank you Miss Pam Amen. so much for the transparency it's truly a blessing yes thank you yes yes, yes. Miss Vivian <laughs> Oh, wow. Where where do I start? I'll just make it short. Thank you, um, Tribe. Thank you, Pam, for your transparency, as others have said. And as you were talking, I was just viewing a part of my journey, because part of my journey um, relates to the things that you were saying. And... Um, and and I, I just want to say that I thank God for the tribe and a safe space. And I thank God for restoration. It because of what has happened in this environment just Sunday, I was able to tell my grandchildren my story for the first time. Wow. And it's because of the freedom that this environment has bought Amen. that I didn't have that didn't have the um the feeling of being alone, chained or uh, any of those negative things and with joy and gladness I was able to tell them my story because I was free Amen. And this environment brings about that kind of freedom. Stephanie knows my story. And maybe one day I'll get the opportunity to tell it. But just for now, the freedom, I heard the freedom in what you're saying about your story. 
And God brought that through. God brought that through. And um, it's an encouragement to me to know that I'm in a right place, a right time, mm -hmm. in the right space, that um, he's working, he's doing some things that I know not of, but I know he's working on my behalf. And I just, guys, it's wonderful to be in a safe space. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Pam. Thank you, Tribe, for what God is doing and working in that. Amen. Girl, y'all, I mean, I can't stop the waterworks. <laughs> I just cannot. And, you know, I'm going to say this, Pam. What I think about is grace. You know, you have walked your life and come out and will continue to walk in grace. And that everybody's so amazed at how, you know, you don't look like what you've been through. You know, and that is how that is just part of God's restoration is that we don't you you don't carry it. You don't have to carry it. What a beautiful lesson that we learn on how to lay things down and move forward. And you you just embodied that today. You really did. Um, and Vivian, Lord, help me. Because <laughs> I can't. I can't even thank you for sharing that you know because all of these stories all of these all of your stories mean so much to me just not that you know you you need validation but when you know the path you had to walk you know, to open certain doors and create environments. And I know how many times the enemy tried to take me out that it mattered for me to still stand, you know, and it mattered for me to still walk. And, and where the enemy would say, you know, it doesn't make a difference. It, it doesn't matter that you guys just proved time and time again, it matters that all of us, we matter and we are making an impact. And this is something that will stand in the heavens forever, for eternity. And there's no words for that. So thank you, because this is about freedom. God wants us all free. You know, we can, and, and it's accessible. So thank you for sharing that. And Rhonda, I didn't mean to make you put your hand down. I know you had your hand up. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> you know, this is a big stretch for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I, I, I have known Pam uh, since 2008. So I know when she's gone through this, I just want you to know what a leader she is because even though she went through this, the base shop never knew. Mm -hmm. People still mm -hmm. called on her. She still helped people, even though she was going through all this stuff with her family, her kids. And, and she really didn't tell you all the things that go that happened because I, I actually know it a lot more. Um, but she never, she played hurt. She mm -hmm. played hurt. No one ever knew. People would come. She was always in the office. She was always the person everybody went to for everything. And she never told anybody no. Even though she was hurting, she was going through a lot of stuff. Things were happening. She never told anybody no. She helps everybody and still helps everybody to this day. I just want to know she is the true definition of leadership. Amen. Okay. Yep, man. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that insight, Rhonda. Amen. Miss Myra. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Um, I was a little late getting on because I had some other things going on. But the thing I do so appreciate, Pam, that, that I heard, that you've been so transparent, praise God. And um, also I appreciate the tribe. You know, I, I do appreciate the love that's shown on this platform, um, that, that it's the love of Jesus and you can feel it, you know, 
And I'm just grateful to be a part, Jacinta, and as always, just thankful for God, to God for you, for your obedience. You know, so many times, I think you don't have nothing to say, you know, but it's just a blessing. I would thank it, Robert, if I didn't say something because I'm being so blessed along the way. So just want to let you all know that I love you and I thank God for you. And y'all have a blessed day. Amen. Thank, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Miss Linda. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to wait. Mm -hmm. um, I just, with Pam, want to thank her and for everybody to know because of how important the tribe is to me, but to know how God puts the, the plan out and he has everything um, within his time because I met Pam in 2017 and just the, just having her in my life and in my path she's brought me here to, to a family, to the tribe that I've been searching my entire life. Mm. And her going through what she's gone through, I don't think she consciously understood, but how God used her mm. to come into my life in 2017 and to need her in 2018 and to actually help me go through with the lupus and see the trans, you know, the transformation of, of, when I was becoming ill, Pam saw it before I could see it. Wow. So this is a blessing of who she is and how strong she is as, as a leader and just as, as, a, as a person that God has her, all that she's been through the trials, but to be able to stand up when she presents herself, other people can see whatever hurt they're going through. If she can make it, I can make it. Mm -hmm. And what a blessing that God used her for that. And, and, this was something I've been looking for my whole life. And had it not been for Pam to bring me here to the tribe, this is the first time in my entire life I've ever felt I've had family. Amen. Because of how I, my background and stuff. So I want to, again, just publicly say thank you, Pam, because I thank her, but publicly that's something. And as being a private person, mm -hmm. um, I, I've, I've learned, I've learned to, express myself I've learned to stand up for myself I've learned that it's not okay to keep your thumb on me it's not okay to put me down it's not I value mm -hmm. I'm a child of God and I'm an, and I have value and Pam's taught me that and just shown me and Primerica is part of the whole plan mm -hmm. and that's that's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. that is a beautiful thing so thank you Pam thank you for all that you've You're done welcome. because thank I am you. who I am today Yes, yes, yes. Hey, that's my sister, y'all. That's my <laughs> sister. Yeah, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> amen. Amen. I am um, I'm over here choking back tears and mm -hmm. just enjoying so much that we have the power of acknowledging one another and to see um to, to have Pam be exhorted and encouraged and acknowledged in this screen and to see you, Pam, standing under the weight of that, it feels wonderful. But I know it's like, oh my God, can I stand it? I want to just bawl and just act so I get it, right? I'll tell you guys that um, Pam and I were introduced to each other during the pandemic. Um, Frances Averett had a class that where she taught the six skill sets and all that. So Pam and I came through those things knowing of each other. And Pam sent me a text and it was like a happy Mother's Day text, right? You know how sometimes you, you go to answer the text and then the phone rings on the iPhone mm -hmm. and, it, and you don't send the text and then you get into another conversation and you just realize, you don't realize that the text didn't send. Well, a year later, she was sending me a happy Valentine's wow. Day. And I looked at the Valentine's Day and I saw that the text did not send. And I was horrified <laughs> because I'm really, I, I pride myself on touching back. Mm -hmm. Anyway, instead of texting her, I called her and we laughed about that story. Um, Pam was introduced to me by uh, DeShannon Dixon, somebody who came through our organization. What I want to say about that is the Shannon said to me, of all of the people in screens that we were all sharing, she said, Pam is who you should get to know. Mm. Pam is good people. Mm. Pam has a 
good heart. And a year later, when I reached out to her, we just kind of went like we've always known each other. Mm -hmm. We became sister friends. And so, Pam, I want to thank you that you're authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, so many times people can be transparent mm -hmm. and not be true to themselves and still wear a mask mm -hmm. and hide behind the pain, the shame, the guilt, whatever those things are. So I want to get myself together here <laughs> and thank you for being authentically you. Mm -hmm. You're an encourager. I remember one of the first uh, the first uh, meme she sent to me, it said, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better, mm -hmm. Maya Angelou. Mm -hmm. She said, I've always loved butterflies because they remind us that it's never too late to transform. Don't worry if you make waves simply by being yourself. The moon does it all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And today, Pam, one of the memes you sent me said, one day you will tell your story of how you overcame what you went through and it will be someone else's survival guide. And I see mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Another meme said, we're not making ourselves small anymore. We're not bending to fit where we don't belong anymore. Do you hear me? We're going big now. We're going all in because we finally know our worth and we're not sorry about it. Amen. And the last thing I'll say, because I love her sense of humor so much, she sent me this meme of a queen. And of course, she and I, she asked me one time, why does um, Keita always call people queens? And we had a discussion around that. But Pam, you sent me a meme with a queen, a, a really stately one. And it says, I think the proper term for senior women should be queenagers. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, girl. Love you too. Yes. Thank you. I love it. I love it. See, Pam, you know, your your length of time is right on time. And I tell that for everybody, you know, because literally we spent the whole rest of the time. <laughs> Yeah, it's always perfect time and it is always perfect time. It doesn't matter how long or short it is, you know, it is what God wants to to share. And again, man, you you're you're everything for us. You're everything for us. And and I can't um, you know, I just still can't thank you enough for sharing and um having been through a difficult marriage in which you felt beat down I know the strength it takes to hold your head back up again and know that you're worth and worthy of more and man that that right there <laughs> is power that's a journey in itself it is it is yeah. it is and such and and you that's the kind of power you know power does not have to scream its name and that's why I said grace, you know, over you, because grace is a way of wearing power in such a, you know, it's such a way you don't have to tell anybody anything. They just know <laughs> when you walk in a room, they raise their standard, you know, so it, it's, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Dre, I saw you just come on screen, sir. <laughs> Is there something oh, else? Yeah, no, I, I ain't want nothing. I was just, you know, getting ready for my <laughs> meeting after the meeting. Okay, gotcha. Meeting. gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so this was a beautiful message today. And uh, one we're going to, again, always treasure. Can't wait to hear Miss Alinda. This is part of Pam's lineage here. <laughs> and I'm so excited to hear what God has got on her heart as well, man. What it just... It's like, how does it get better? It just always gets better. <laughs> we don't know. And then, but it's not to say that anything was ever less because then you could go back and it's still, that's just awesome. You know, so it's just, I don't know. I, I don't, I, the Lord just always outdoes himself every day, every day. So amen, y'all. Well, listen, we're going to go ahead and get ready to close it out.